Two. Amanda, do you, did you ever watch the old Degrassi with like Spinner? Uh, yes, I did. But like just some episodes here and there, like you know, channel surfing. Okay, because you know you're the Spinner of Degrassi now. What? <laughs> How was that, uh, the vibrator story? Well, that was pretty... That, was, that was my favorite story ever. Everyone I talk to, they're like, so how's this show going? I'm like, oh, I masturbated on television. <laughs> and they're all like, what? Okay, Amanda, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, you know, nothing. <laughs> it must be hard to do, though, at the same time, like to be the actor. Oh, I thought you meant it's hard to masturbate. <laughs> yeah, no, it was really awkward. Um, because yeah, Awkward? Like, it's, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's nice to tell a story so that... Um, fans can like relate to and none of your friends talk about it and it's like well is it okay that I'm doing this is it not okay like should I stop ew now two things that Lola did this year that I'm not super crazy about well actually she did a really good thing in season two but first of all she flip-flopped on Frankie pretty hard like one minute she's like yeah I can't be your friend then she's like well no one else is right I'll be your friend do you remember that exactly like, yeah 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 um that sucked I'm sorry Frankie like I think really. she's I think in the heart of hearts she has like good intentions towards her friends, but sometimes, like, she just can't She doesn't see get it. Does Lola love Frankie and Shay? I believe she does. I just don't think she knows how to show her emotions clearly and respectfully. Well, she's learning. When she ends up uh, uh, basically holding a big protest outside... That was amazing. Was that fun? That was... Okay, it was really hot, but it was really nice. She's learning more about herself and like other people around her. Caring about and others. Caring about others. Yeah. Which is really good and it's, it's showing how she's maturing and high school is actually helping her. And that's, a, that's what a lot of people also go through, discoveries in high school. And just learning more about things that they didn't know really existed or happened. You know what I love that we learned just a little tidbit about is that, that she's got kind of a weird family life that we didn't know about. Yeah. We heard when she's talking to uh, Tiny and you find out her mother kind of took off. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it kind of makes a lot of sense. She didn't have a woman in her life to sort of, you know. To show, to have, because the, the connection is with your mom first, right? When you're, when you're born? Sure. Yeah, it's the connection with your mom. Yeah. And if you don't have that, then it's, it's very hard to develop other relationships, uh, normal relationships with other I humans. I think we just explained Lola completely. She yeah. makes total sense that way. She's, yeah. she's overcompensating in some ways. I think, I believe she's super smart. I think so too, sometimes. Yeah, I think she just she decides when she wants to know something yeah. and when she wants to go, I don't know what we're talking about because I don't need that information right now. Yeah. Cue, Cue button. button. <laughs> <laughs>